Okay. You can see the taps they got in the trees. And you can see the bubble just went through there. So it's it's running out. Runs down these lines. It's under vacuum. Which the vacuum pumps up to the farm. And there's a big line running down. I'll show you that in a bit. You can see the all collect in the tube. It goes down to the bigger tubes. It comes down to the sap house. <clears throat> Hope you'll be able to hear me. <coughs> we get down here, they're pumping the sap up to the house where they boil the, or the barn where they boil the syrup. See how all these lines come. I believe there's about 5,000 taps all scattered through the woods. I'll try to get out and get some get some video of some of it. As you can see, the sap's flowing in pretty good. The dirt's just on the outside of the lines. But that big black line, that's the line they're pumping up, I believe. There's the black line, the vacuum line. Hold on. Back around here, maybe you can hear me. The black line is the vacuum line. That goes to a pretty high performance vacuum pump, electric vacuum pump they use up to the farm. And then the blue line is where they're pumping the sap from this big tank right here all the way up to the up to the other farm into the collection tank up there. Right in here you can see the process of switching from one tank to the other. that door maybe you can hear me. You can see the sap shooting in there. This is a big manifold. All the different lines from the woods all coming down. Look in there here. goes into these tanks. This is where the vacuum right here comes into this, these two tanks and it sucks it in. <clears throat> now these tanks fill one at a time. When that further tank there gets full, the vacuum shuts off to that tank and switches to this tank. And then that tank will dump into this tank. And then when this tank gets full, that sump pump down there pumps it to that big tank outside. So watch here, you'll see it switch over. Go ahead and switch. So switch from that tank, the vacuum drops in the further tank. The sap runs out that valve in the bottom, and then the sap starts running into this tank. All that went over there drains. <coughs> and you see this one filling up here now. You can see all the sap rushing in there. It's coming in from this thing here. 
This is the diverter. We want to switch over. This is the vent. Remember, this is the vacuum, and there's two. See the two pipes here, and they got a vacuum cylinder there. It switches the vacuum one one side to the other. Here's something here. See the shoot in there. switch that valve over which drew this pipe over to the other side. Now that's filled up and the sump pump I believe is kicked on. Yeah. The pump is kicked on down in there and it's pumping that out to that black tank. Meanwhile, that further tank's filling. Well, wait a second, catch it again. There's two floats inside these tanks. And this thing here rocks back and forth. When that goes up, this drops down. It switches the vacuum in here. You can see there's two lines going in. And that switches the vacuum on that actuator to slide that valve from one side to the other. on the tank that's close to that. And these are just flapper valves there. Once the vacuum's released, the weight of the sat pushes the sat valve. Alright, we'll go out and get some video out in the woods a little bit. I will go up. I'll probably have a separate video for the uh, evaporator. But we'll head out in the woods. Yeah, way up in the top of the woods now. Take a little walk around. A little drier walking up here than it is down the bottom of the hill. It's a long ways down there. That old building there, that's the old sugar shack from way back in the day when the great uncles used to boil and, and then uh, my nephews that are running it now, my brothers and my brother's brother-in-law, they used to boil up here too before they bought a big evaporator back in the 80s. They didn't have this much line. This goes a long way through the woods. Alright, now you can see the sap house there. These are all these lines. I don't know, the guys could probably tell you. How many miles of lines they got out here? But they go 
Oh, several hundred yards up into the woods, splitting off into several branches. See the sap coming out right there. It's just a little line going down. Looks pretty wet up ahead. I got my sneakers on. I should have worn my boots. We'll go up in the top of the woods and I'll show you some up there. You can see the woods down there where we just was. It pumps up this line into that big tank. And then I'll go in and show you the arrow setup. I'm gonna have that all in a separate video. But uh, how many taps you got in the woods? 4,500. How many feet of line? Any clue? A lot. Miles. 50 <laughs> acres. 50 acres of woods. There's a new, I was going to ride up there. There's new, what's it, 10 acres you just bought up there? Yeah, that's where you ought to be filming the line because that's all nice and pretty up there. It's all nice and that's the new lines. Maybe I'll take a ride up there. But Some of you might recognize this view from some of my videos up here. All right. Here's up in that new woods he was talking about a little bit ago. See some of the line up here. These are a lot younger trees up here. Probably get more sap out of younger trees, as long as they ain't too young. But that's a decent sized tree there for tapping. Just goes on and on. <laughs> you can see the sap running. Been pretty warm today. It was probably running faster earlier this morning. You ain't gonna see much here at the top of the line. 